Hi everyone, welcome to this video from Ozaki LTD. Today, in this video, I will show you how to send SMS from Java using HTTP request in Ozaki NG SMS Gateway. HTTP is the simplest method to send data from one application to another. Concerning that Java has native method calls to submit HTTP requests, HTTP is a good choice to send SMS text messages to mobile phones. To be able to communicate with mobile phones, you need to pass your messages by using HTTP GET or HTTP POST method calls to the SMS gateway that supports HTTP. The HTTP gateway has a built-in web server that provides an HTTP SMS API allowing you to submit messages. After the messages arrive to the SMS gateway, they will be sent to the mobile network through one of the service provider connections you have configured previously. As you can see, I have already downloaded the Ozaki NG SMS Gateway, the Java Development Kit and the Eclipse software. You can download these software products from the ozakisms.com website. Just click on the Java SMS example link. Here you can find more ways to send SMS messages in Java. Now you need the HTTP based solution. So please click on the how to send and receive SMS messages using HTTP requests in Java link. On this page you can find direct download links for the Ozaki NG SMS gateway, the Eclipse software and the Java development kit. From here, you can download the Ozaki NG SMS Gateway by clicking on this download link. From the official website of Eclipse, you can download the necessary development environment. And from the Oracle's website, you can download the Java SDK. Now, let's start the Ozaki NG SMS Gateway by clicking on its icon on the desktop. Now, you need to log in by providing your username and password. To be able to send and receive SMS messages, you need to set up GSM modem connectivity or IP SMS connection. For the GSM modem connectivity, there is a need for a GSM device with a SIM card and the IP SMS connection requires a contract with a mobile service provider such as T-Mobile or AT&T and so on. Based on your mobile service provider's preferences, you need to create an SMPP, a UCP, or any other service provider connection. It depends on your mobile service provider. As this video focuses on the implementation of the HTTP Java SMS solution, the installation of these connections is beyond the range of this video. At the main page of ozakisms.com, you can find direct links to the detailed guides on how to connect your system to the mobile network. Ok, let's start the Java project. First of all, launch the Eclipse by double-clicking on its desktop icon. Now you need to create a new Java project. Click on File, then New Java Project. Enter a name for the new project, then click on the Finish button. Thereafter, you need to add a new Java class. Click on the File menu item, then select New Class option. Now you need to browse the source folder by clicking on the corresponding browse button. Now please open the drop-down menu of the new Java project that you have created previously, then select its SRC folder. Finally, click on the OK button. Ok, now you need to enter a unique name for the new class. For better understanding, you can use the example source code that can be found at ozakisms.com. After opening the main page, click on the Java SMS example link, then select the HTTP based solution. The full source code can be found at the bottom of the page. Copy the name of the class.
then paste it as the name of your new Java class. After clicking on the Finish button, the creation of the new class will be completed. Now let's copy and paste the source code that is available at ozakiestamas.com. You need to use the same code example that was used previously as well. Let's take a closer look at the main method. Here you need to define the recipient's telephone number. the text of the SMS message, the username and password of your SMS gateway, and the standard phone number. To be able to connect to the SMS gateway through HTTP, you also need to provide the URL and the port number of your SMS gateway. The request URL will be generated automatically by using the provided information. The service provider parameter of the URL should be the name of the service provider connection that you have created previously. If you haven't added any service provider connection yet, you can test the application by simulating the SMS sending. Now I'm going to show you how to achieve this. After opening the SMS gateway, click on the Add Service Provider link on the left side of the screen. Then search the HTTP server connection on the right panel and click on the Install button next to it. On the next window, click on the OK button. Please note that this HTTP server connection can be used just for the simulation of SMS sending. It provides a good way to test your program, but if you want to send the SMS messages actually, you need to install a GSM modem connection or an IP SMS connection. Now copy the name of the new service provider connection and paste it into your code. If it is needed, please repair the code and when everything is OK, let's run the application. You can see that the OK message appears under your code. You can also check the results if you go back to the SMS gateway. Click on the Events menu item of the previously created HTTP server. The log shows if your SMS has been sent successfully. That's all! The Ozaki NG SMS Gateway is a powerful, flexible software that is compatible with almost all programming languages you wish to use. The integration of this software to your system is easy and fast. You can send even 500 SMS messages per second with it. Try it yourself, download the free trial version and start your SMS campaign today. The Ozaki NG SMS Gateway is a new generation software that is a leading software in the SMS communication sector. If you need more information, please visit our website that is www.ozakisms.com or send us an email to info at ozakisms.com Thank you for watching. Bye bye!